And don't save me news. Woo! Submitted by Big Papa. Pepe. Big Pepe. A oh, Papa. Filipino man was force, forcefully <laughs> rescued after spending three years on top of a coconut tree. Oh. So he didn't want to come down. I don't buy this. He didn't want. Was he like from a from like war? He like fled or what the that hell? Straight up sounds like an old racist joke. That has to be the beginning of a racist joke. A yeah. Filipino man climbs up a coconut tree yeah. and he can't come down. <laughs> For three years. Yeah, from like back in no. the day. There it has to be, there has to be some kind of, he's like, like a tree house, I'm assuming. Right, you can't just live like this. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you know? <laughs> so he's just shitting and peeing down the tree every yeah, single day? Like a, uh, what are those things, a little, what are those animals that don't, like sloths. Sloths. Yeah, so they do, they just shit right off the tree. <laughs> no, they don't actually. They actually take 30 minutes, they're slow fuckers, to go down the tree, and then they shit and they bury it so, uh, Are you making this up? No, so other predators don't attack them, and then they take another 45 minutes to get up the fucking tree. But they're gonna attack them on the 45 wow. minute way up. That's what I think, but that's what they do. What a, wouldn't they just, like, shit themselves or pee in their pants on the way down? <laughs> a sloth? Yeah. Oh. How does the sloth survive? Like, Are we talking about sloths? I hope or so. This man? I just well, it's a Filipino sloth. Have you sloth. seen what they do though? How they die? No, tell me. So they, you know how they move slow, right? They they're holding onto the branch. Yeah, and they're so stupid. Like they'll hold onto this, thinking it's a branch, <laughs> and then they let like, go and they fall. By the way, I was at a zoo and I wanted. To, what the fuck? Am I a sloth? He goes, "You want to feed a sloth?" I go, "Sure." This is how lazy these fuckers are, right? I'm gonna give you an example. He gave me this giant stick with a carrot or whatever. And I put it right up to the fucker, it was feeding time. And I put it right in his claw, right here. Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> you just oh dropped the God. fucker. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's, those are sloths, they don't care. I don't know why they're alive, they're cute, but what the fuck? Like who, why wouldn't people just eat all sloths, like all the animals in the kingdom. They may, maybe they taste like shit. It probably yeah. tastes like no, shit, no. yeah. There's probably something I'm saying, yeah, eat my lazy ass. <laughs> you're gonna see, you're gonna well, taste maybe shit. Like a lion eats like, or some kind of creature eats, they get made fun of because it's just too, it's such an easy meal. They're yeah. like, I can't believe you ate a sloth, you fucking lazy shit. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. You went after a sloth. This man here, he's not a sloth. <laughs> he's Sorry. Uh, 47 years old, his name is Gilbert. Gilbert! Gilberto. Okay. Why? Why does that ring? Tiger Bell. Tiger Bell. He's also Filipino. Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Gilbert, uh, three years ago, he said that he was hit on the head with a gun by someone. And. Just randomly? Just randomly. Maybe it was a coconut. Through. It was his mother. Good morning. Boom. <laughs> So then morning, he, got, he got so scared and like terrified for his life that he thought that someone was gonna come and kill him. So immediately he what? He climbed up the coconut tree that's outside of his home, <clears throat> where he lives with his mom and his two daughters. He and had a phone. He could have called nine one one, but he's like, "Fuck this shit!" And he fucking <laughs> <laughs> runs up the tree. <laughs> Yeah, apparently. The funny thing is, he <laughs> leaves his kids and his mom alone. Yeah. And he fucking hightails it, and he climbs up the tree. It's dangerous yeah. down there. <laughs> I like in the street. I just see you back there climbing a fucking, fucking tree. Fucking get this fucking towel and it goes like this. <laughs> what do you say about that? He's a he's a fucking coward. Well, no, he, he got hit with a gun, right, in his head, so yeah, he, he probably he, went coconuts, or, you know. <laughs> but he's crazy, something happened. You wouldn't live up in the coconut world if you weren't. Also yeah, he climbed up six, his tree uh, 60 feet up. 60 mm -hmm. feet? Yeah. He's strong. Back in 2014 is when he did that. God this. damn. How did he stay up there and sleep without falling? Oh, I don't know about that, but I know he survived because his mom would send him food, water, and cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. Cigarettes? <laughs> yeah, cigarettes. Mama, can you give me a pack out of Marlboro Lights? I know. I'm puffing up. What about his two daughters? Exactly, so then the mom was he like... He has children. Wait, is it, is it... Is he doesn't it, have work? Is it like the, the kid's mom or his mom? His own mother. What the because fuck? Because the kid's mother, they, she died during childbirth of the second Oh, that's daughter. sad. So then, um, the, his Gilbert's mom has been taking care of the girls, and now she was saying like, you know, I'm getting too old. Like, I can't take your your kids to school. You need to come down. So for all these years, they've been trying to get him to come down. So every he, time they're talking, they're also yelling at each other too. Yeah, all the time they're just yelling. <laughs> He's just yelling. Come down. I'm still scared. <laughs> yeah. So then, has he made any attempts to like come down? Like, kind of like you know when people are coming out of the dark. 
just to like check <laughs> like a little bit. Yeah, he's bit. like coming down. No, 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 it's not safe. <laughs> he like goes back it's up. Not I'm safe. not sure. <laughs> I don't know if you ever tried. Years, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, he's obviously sick, right? Yeah. So then, um, so the family they had been, they had been trying to get authorities to help them get shoot him down. Him yeah, just shoot him down. Or c cut the tree. Put, or cat fucking put it on fire. Just oh. shake the shit out of that tree. Yeah. Yeah, so then no one would do anything because they're like, well, it's his choice. He wants to be up there. Oh, well, we're not going to do anything about it. So then finally, recently, there was a post that went viral. Like, someone wrote about him. Yeah. And that post went viral. And then that's when authorities were like, okay, I guess we'll help the family. So then they spent four hours cutting the tree down and like slowly dropping the tree to the ground so he would be safe. While he's still stuck on it. Yeah, because he would not come down. What, how are they going to prevent him climbing into the tree? Yeah. Well, they immediately took him to go <laughs> get like psychiatric um, evaluation. <laughs> so so there is something mentally wrong with him because of the, that gun hit. Yeah, they said that he had signs of psychosis. Well, he was up in a tree, so I'm not sure if that's from the gun hit. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been the fact that he survived three years of typhoons in the Philippines in a fucking tree. Yeah, that's the thing, too, because they're like, all these years, like, it didn't matter about the the weather, the finish. <laughs> Everything. Could you imagine? He survived. This is fucking. I'm not going back down. Fuck that. I know. <laughs> I just been just swinging with a fucking cigarette in his mouth. Hey, put that on man, a cigarette! He also had a pair of scissors up there and a bolo. Like a ma it's machete. A, it's oh, a, t oh. a type of machete. So then they were saying that because of that bolo that he had, because apparently he had a huge bolo, Jeez. that he. <laughs> oh, his bolo's huge, huh? That mm -hmm. it was hard. Like they were really trying to be careful with bringing the tree down so oh, he wouldn't get he hurt. Himself? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, but he cut his hair with the scissors, right? <laughs> yeah. He, he would cut his own hair with the scissors. He did. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have a picture of this guy? You know how much he saved at Supercuts? No, because he keep, he keeps hiding his face. He's still like... He keeps grabbing super, leaves and... He's convinced that someone's trying to kill him. Oh, oh yeah, wow. he's touched he's in the head, dude. Yeah, he's... he's oh, so I'm gonna show you guys a clip of he's when really they brought the tree down. The elements the didn't kill him. the tree <laughs> thing. Yeah. Take everything back, we said. Yeah, so here's a clip of when they were bringing the tree down. Timber. Just they were calling him Kaloi, um because it was a fake name that they gave him. He was too scared of giving it like, Oh my god, that's so high, it's a fucking palm tree. I'm not doing this the right way. That does not even sound like a language. <laughs> said, don't jump. Oh shit. That thing does not, does not look he? like they're handling it very gently. <laughs> Where is he? How did he? How did he they get the food up there? Like, did they have like a rope? A rope. The mom would take it up, or yeah, with the rope. Enabler. Well, she wanted her son to be alive. Like, she was trying to help My him. My parents would just alive. leave me to die. Three years. Why did this happen? Two years and eleven months ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> The rescue. Yeah. Because no one wanted to help the family. Well, yeah, after a month in yeah. a coconut tree, yeah. let's do something. Yeah, and you know what else is crazy? When he came down, they discovered that his body was so deformed from spending so Just many years like this. Like, oh, crouched yeah. up. Like his spine got fucked up. Of course. I bet you he's got crazy grip strength though. <laughs> oh yeah. I wanna I would have loved to see him climb that tree to begin with. Yeah. It was so, so tall. high. Yeah. Like, how do you do that? Even when you say sixty feet, I didn't think it was that tall though. Sixty yeah. feet is pretty high up. That's pretty much six stories. I thought he just got lazy. Like once he got up there, he was like, you know what, this is kinda nice. No work. Just hang out here all day. Mom get some brings food. Me cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes yeah. and food. He doesn't have to take care of his daughters anymore. Yeah. That's flame retardant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is straight up flame retardant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then he, uh, after having a psychiatrist look at him, they said that he exhibits symptoms of psychosis, including delusions and hallucinations, and obviously the, the fear of someone killing him is like... Well, you needed a psychiatrist for that? <laughs> what the fuck? So now he's being put on medication. I want what he has without the paranoia. By the way, he had a healthy diet of coconut water, though. I mean, that's right. right. Oh, that's that's, right. that's the best thing you could have, right? In a great view of his town. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want that he has? Coconut fun. His grip strength <laughs> is really strong, though, yeah. because as it was shaking, he still didn't come down. Yeah. 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 
Well, actually, what am I talking about? Typhoons, he survived that. That should be Yeah, nothing. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's just like a... <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you sleep? I know, I don't know. How would you make that movie? Yeah. Oh, the coconut tree man. That'd be a, the coconut man. Yeah. And it's just a guy in a tree the whole movie, and you have to really make it interesting with cool shots and whatnot. <laughs> Sounds like a Sundance winner. It's like, it's like Sundance castaway. winner. <laughs> It it's like castaway. it's like Castaway, but like Coconut Man. Yeah, yeah. It and it's like his own decision too, because he refuses to come down. Everyone's like, "Please come down. You have kids here." What? So the villain is the village. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of the coconuts. Himself. It wouldn't be Wilson, but it'd be the anti-Wilson. Oh, it's a coconut that's mean. Well, that's and the coconut already has two eyes and a mouth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What would his name be instead of Wilson? I don't. I Coco. Don't. Duh. Coco. Coco. Yeah, but it took 50 people to take him down. 50. I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah. Or he's mentally ill. You know, yeah. Sucks. Is there just human poop everywhere around that tree? I know, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. It must smell so bad. I have a feeling his mom picked it up. And yeah. human poop smells bad. Yeah. Compared to every other animal Eat tofu, poop. dude. Yeah, it just, it had, it's so gross. You know what's pretty amazing is that a person with psychosis is still addicted to cigarettes. What? Oh, yeah. Did you think like he's scared for his life? So he's just like, I'm just gonna like, you know, protect myself and I don't care about anything. I just need the most basic nutrients, but he still like is getting my like, marble reds. That was saying like that that mom fucked up because she just had to cut off his like smoking supply. He might have come down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well I have an addiction. <laughs> 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 she was an enabler. Yeah. Horrible.